we're getting ready to start another project out of plywood, just like we did the kitchen tower. Uh, this will be cut into some shapes and connected using the same bolt connectors. This is a computer table, and I've got the design uh, done in SketchUp. So let's go ahead and check that out. It's a simple table with a fairly modern design. The left hand side is for a laptop and that section slides forward on drawer slides. The right hand side is fixed for papers etc. This time I'm using a Russian birch or Baltic birch. Uh, should be able to get everything out of a single sheet, 5x5, five five, no problem. And this project will be painted at the end so I think uh, this plywood along with the paint uh, the project will turn out looking pretty nice. Uh, just like I did with the last one, I'm going to start with the sides and shape those. They're sort of the most complicated pieces. Uh, and then I'll do all the cross connecting pieces. We have a drawer that will slide on one side. Um, and so it should all be pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and get started cutting up some plywood. I've now got the two plywood sides cut to the right height and width uh, for their final dimension. I've drawn the side shape onto this top piece, uh, the top, the bottom, and the back edge. Uh, the majority of this gets cut out. Uh, and then I went ahead and ganged up the two pieces of plywood with some brad nails uh, along where some of the off cuts will be. Uh, so once we go ahead and shape them, shape them together, uh, when we're done, uh, they'll come back apart and hopefully have two uh, complete sides. There's a couple of inside corners here that are curved, so I'm going to start with a drill bit uh, on those inside corners to shape that curve, uh, and then the majority will uh, take away with the saw. I found that the inside curve is about the same uh, diameter as this hammer here, so uh, the head of the hammer, so I could trace that. Uh, for these outside curves uh, right here at the corners and stick it here and trace around that corner uh, and then I think I'm going to try doing this by hand I've just got a very simple coping saw with a uh, medium blade I think I even have a uh, more coarse blade which I might try and uh, we'll just give it a go doing these by hand I don't have uh, I'm afraid my jigsaw might be a little too aggressive uh, so we'll just give this, give this a try here Well, that broke. Uh, give this a uh, try, maybe with the jigsaw, or maybe I'll try another blade. I opted to use the jigsaw to do the rounding on these corners after trying it by hand. That wasn't working too well. And the jigsaw really did a good job. I was able to control it pretty well, so I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to go ahead, while they're still ganged up, uh, use the sander and uh, just smooth out uh, all those corners um, while, while they're ganged up so I'll have the same profile on both. I can't get in all the corners, uh, but I can get in a good majority of them, so I'll get that done. Um, and then uh, cut the two pieces apart, uh, finish the straight cuts with the jigsaw just to get in the corners, uh, get those two halves apart, and then uh, finish kind of uh, general sanding on them to smooth any rough corners and then move on to the rest of the parts. Well, got them all uh, cut out and sanded. I used some clamps because uh, I took the brad nails off uh, to keep them together so I could sand the inside corners, uh, sand these corners together, and uh, it came out pretty well. So let's go ahead and take them apart here. And we've got two uh, sides. I did uh, have a whoops with the jigsaw uh, where it bounced up uh, on me. Uh, it was just a silly mistake. Uh, I wasn't all the way through where I need to cut. Uh, but that'll be. This is going to be painted, uh, so I'll easily be able to fill out with a little spackle. 
uh, and then paint this. So uh, now it's time for cutting out the rest of the parts uh, and then put this thing together.